Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for December 8th to the 14th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. If you'd like a person with me, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on amazon.com. And I have a holiday giveaway going on, Leo, so stick with me till the end and I will give you guys all the details. All right, time is precious, so let's jump right in here. We're gonna talk about the day today, the love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it that way, you want me to continue that way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on my Leo's romantic love life for December 8th to the 14th? Leo's romantic love life for December 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Leo. All right, so we're gonna be doing the day today. So it's gonna be December 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. And then this is going to be the love interest feelings. And please feel free to check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign, Leo, represents who you are. So all three of these make up who you are. They're the three, the three points of astrology, the most important points in the astrology chart. So we see judgment. So some things this week are gonna roll in your favor. There's gonna be a healing happening here uh, when it comes to something that's been really confusing to you. So let's see what the blockage is here. Hmm. So Ace of Pentacles, some huge offer, some huge opportunity, a new situation, some, some serious situation, could be money also with the Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term commitment. So it's one of those things right there with the Ace of Pentacles. We're gonna to have to see how it's gonna play out in your reading. Okay, so the first day, Leo, somebody is, is feeling like they're missing an opportunity with you on the 8th. I feel like they are trying to get your attention, you're not paying attention to them. And they are feeling sad about that, okay? All right, and it looks like the Four of Swords here on the 9th and I also feel like this person is really thinking about you again. There's this person, you're really on someone's mind here with the Four of Swords energy. And then we have the Strength card energy. I feel like finally this person is going to gain the courage and strength here, okay, or confidence to approach you. That's what I feel like here on this day. Because they tried to on the 8th, it looks like, and it was just like you weren't paying attention or you, you were distracted with some other things there. So they thought about it for a while and then they, it looks like they're gonna come forward here on the 10th. So let's go a little further here. Let's go on my Leo's romantic love life for December 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. We got the person card coming out. We got the child card coming out and we got the stork card coming out. Okay, so the person card could be you, could be the love interest. So we see this person uh, ha is having a sense that they were being very naive about the situation or with the child card coming out, uh, there could have been a lot of hurt, you know, feeling like, wow, you know, there was something childish about the situation. Maybe they were being childish but the store card shows me that there's gonna be some changes or improvements happening here with store card energy because they gain that courage, strength, or confidence to approach you here. Let's go further. I'm just gonna have my Leo's romantic love life for December 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yep, as I told you guys, there's an opportunity coming in here a relationship, a soulmate connection. <sighs> well, strength can also be seen in that way as well. You know, strength is, in certain decks, does have like a very passionate uh, energy around it. So it's interesting. So actually what's gonna happen on that day is, is very passionate in nature, which will cause some improvements in the connection here. So we see an opportunity with a, a soulmate, an opportunity for a relationship which has a lot of chemistry and passion. Okay. All right, all right. Let's see what's going on here, Leo, with the next day on the 11th. 
So we got some memories of the past, someone from the past with the Six of Cups energy. Looks like it's gonna be a, like a going down memory lane there with that Six of Cups. It looks like two people are coming together like, all right, hey, look at all these great memories we have. Look what happened here. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a really attractive kind of energy there with that Six of Cups. And let's see what's going on here. So this could happen while you're going out. Uh, it could happen through other people with the garden card energy because the garden card also could have happen online too because remember the garden card could be the public. All right, it represents the public. It has a couple of different things you can look at a, different, a couple different ways. Um, the garden card can be like, all right, you know, online because technically there's a lot of people online, right? It could happen through you going out. It could happen through family or friends, okay? It could happen through uh, you just looking at old memories or touching bases with this person from the past and them wanting to go out with you. So we see the balance card, something to do with wanting to bring balance to the situation because there's a sense that something isn't equal give and take because of something to do with the past. So we see that there is a person that really has a lot of regrets about what happened between you and them, okay? And in the stuck energy with the anchor card, and it's like, you are the best decision for me, Leo. And let's keep going here. So it looks like on this day of the 13th, there's romantic gestures being taken towards you, Leo, to heal the, the connection with the tree card energy. And it's like, this person's like, all right, you know what? Let me see what happens with this. You know, uh, I really do feel like there is a value to this connection that I wanna be patient here and I wanna see how it plays out here. And let's see the last day. Oh my God, you're breaking someone's heart, Leo. You're breaking someone's heart with the Three of Swords energy. And then let's see what that's about. Because of ending, stopping, completing, or taking a break because you're indecisive about what you wanna do here with the Crossroads card. Okay, so let's break this down. There's an opportunity for a relationship. It looks like it's um, passionate in nature and uh, something isn't an equal give and take. So you're gonna have to make a decision here about you know looking at this exam and see how it plays out you're gonna have to make a choice with the two of wands energy about this and the possibility really is is because of the fact that you guys may be dating more than one person here okay with a garden card coming out okay so we see a person some fresh start new opportunity or someone new some improvements and changes happen but we see that there's uh people involved with this or a few people involved with this and it's something stuck about this there's some healing going on or some time to grow and then you decided and stop or take a break there with the, the death card or the coffin card energy all right let's keep going all right so we see um, I'm offering something to you and you're not accepting this. I really need to think about things. I'm trying to find that courage and strength because it's something to do with the past and all these regrets that we have. So I'm going to take these romantic gestures towards you because you're breaking my heart. You know the song that popped in my head? You're breaking my heart. I can't remember who sings that one, but look up the lyrics for that. You know, everything is a message. So... How does your love interest feel about you? Knight of Pentacles energy, Five of Pentacles energy, and the King of Cups energy. This person feels that you are uh, a person that they really love, with the King of Cups energy. They feel a sense of loss for you, and they are trying to take an action towards you, and they don't understand why things are taking a while with the Knight of Pentacles energy. This person feels that they want to gain some kind of control when it comes to this opportunity and they don't want to keep repeating the same patterns and going around in circles. Your person's like, are you being honest with me about why you're taking so long? I really want to take control of this. And is there something to do with money and finances causing some kind of unbalances within our romantic connection? Okay, so let's See now what this blockage of this Ace of Pentacles is about. Commitment, communication. Okay, so there's lack of communication, all right? And uh, when it comes to this potential offer opportunity in a uh, commitment engage your marriage, or there is a sense of, there needs to be some heart-to-heart -heart conversations about this long-term commitment or about 
not repeating the same patterns in order for there to be a potential for a long-term commitment with the Ace of Pentacles energy. So let's now take a look, Leo, at your overall outcome. So you guys are going to get good news about love with the Page of Cups energy, but there's going to be something you're going to have to sacrifice here with the Hangman energy when it comes to a relationship, okay? And we see that, yes, happy energy, sun card, something's being revealed that's really hopeful here with the star card energy. And it looks like you're going to have to make a decision about a relationship. We see a reconciliation. So this message of love or this good news is because of something that's revealed about a reconciliation and wanting some kind of commitment here with the ring card energy. And the star card again tells me that this person is hoping for a positive outcome here and, and wondering if it's still possible when it comes to a relationship in making a decision. Side card energy. Yes, Leos, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have um, a great rest of your week uh, and I love you guys. And if you guys like this, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. If you're interested in, in expanding this out further, of course, the December reads are up and available for you guys to watch, which covers love, Korean finance, and health and wellness. And the 2022 reads are up and available for you guys to watch right now. So if you want to know what's going to happen for the entire year of 2022, that reading is up and available for you guys to watch. If you are single or you want to check out what's going on with a love interest, I do have a reading for that. That's up and available for you guys to watch. I just did that one yesterday or the day before. Um, and for the holiday giveaway, all you have to do is put blessed in love in the comments below and picking two people for a free person reading and one person for a mystery box giveaway. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys another day or two.